Hey, hello, I'm Julie Jo. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. If you're not new here, welcome back. I did not have time to get ready today. Well, I did, but I don't want to because I have work tonight. I mean, I know you don't like me for my pretty face, but it is a plus. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kitten right meow. Anyway, uh, let's move on from that. Today we're going to watch a video. So we watched the first of this series. We didn't watch the second of the series. We're watching the third. The second was just, let me explain. Money. <laughs> let me, money. The multi-level marketing company, money. We're watching a video. We watched Jacqueline Ortega, whatever. You know, I don't really know. I don't know her last name and I don't really care to look. We watched hers. I will make sure to either put it in the description or link it somewhere. You'll be able to find it. Now we're watching Joe and a lot of you have seen Joe before if you've been watching anti multiple marketing content and especially money. We skipped the second one because it was just focused on products and frankly, I don't really care. <laughs> so didn't really want to sit down and watch that. So before we get started, don't forget if you want to support the channel for free, you can hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Let's get started. Okay, so this is what Joe said. She said, what they don't want you to know. How we invest back into our field and our personal development. That's what this is about. So they're doing a whole series called What They Don't Want You To Know with top leaders in money where they come on and do like a 15 to 20 minute little sh little thing, little training of some kind. This is pretty much money just trying to save their ass. I don't think it's going to work. Okay, so let's watch. Okay, good evening, everyone. Welcome, welcome to part three of this 12 part series that we have called What They Don't want you to know. And if you've been following along, welcome back. If you're new, you need to go back and watch part one and part two because we're just building from one another. Um, but you guys are probably asking yourselves, and I'm going to go right into it because these are supposed to be quick and I'm known to speak a lot. So I have some points I want to stay on track. Um, but you're probably asking what, who doesn't want me to know? And the answer is everyone. Your boss, successful people, millionaires, other network marketers. There's a lot that people keep from you and we are here to educate you with truths, with facts, and we have receipts because numbers don't lie. You're damn right they don't. And we will talk about numbers just in a, in a little, little moment. But what I love is how Monet's acting like a victim. They're like, everyone doesn't want you to know this because it's so great. My girl, it's something I've heard about a billion times before. And you're right, Joe, numbers don't lie. So I thought we should look at Monet's income disclosure statement that the company themselves puts out for people to see the actual opportunity. This is the 2023 USA annual income by rank for Monet. Market partner is the bottom rank. It's not really a rank up. You just start at market partner. And that is 91.15% of the company and your average annual gross earnings not including products you purchase is 114 dollars for the entire year their shampoo costs like over 30 bucks for just a shampoo so no these people over 91 percent are definitely not making any kind of profit the median which is actually more accurate than the average is 26 dollars so um if you buy a shampoo you're fine that sucks for you. You are making absolutely zero. And we have the managing market partner rank next. So when you're a market partner and you rank up, you go to managing market partner or what they also like to call an MMP. And that is 4.4% of the company, which is the second highest amount. The highest amount at a rank is the very bottom one, market partner. And this one is the second highest, 4.4% of the company. And the average annual gross earnings is about $1,300 and the median is about $1,100. They have several different products, but let's say you wanna purchase a conditioner and a shampoo, okay? Let's just say you wanna purchase those two things. Let's say you buy the Renew shampoo and the Re Renew conditioner. The Renew shampoo is $42, the Renew conditioner is $48, and you have to be a VIP, so you have to do auto ship. So if you want that price, 
48 and 42, you have to be a VIP. If you don't want to be a VIP, it is then $49 for the shampoo and $57 for the conditioner. That is a total of $90 just on two products a month. Let's throw in a leave-in conditioner because a lot of these women are not just going to buy the shampoo and conditioner. So we'll throw in a leave-in conditioner too. It's the Restore, which is going to be $37. So it'll be about $127 a month. So if you're a managing market partner, which is 4.4% of the company, like I said earlier, and your average annual gross earnings is about $1,300, and you buy these three products a month as a VIP, so you get them cheaper, but you auto ship it, so you have to get it every month for 12 months. That's $127 total a month. If you break down about $1,300 a month, that's only 108. So you're still in the negative. So we are at over 95% of the company still not profiting money. They said numbers don't lie. And so I just thought I'd show them the numbers that they refuse to talk about. Go ahead and let me know what you think in the comments below. And in life, it's not, it doesn't matter what you say. It matters what you show. So I'm going to start off with saying it's no secret that network marketing as an industry is probably not the norm, right? Most of us don't grow up thinking like, I want to be a network marketer. I know personally myself, I didn't even know network marketing existed until literally six years ago. And we always grow up with someone constantly telling us what to do. It starts off with our parents when we're little kids, then our teachers when we go to school, our professors when we're in college, and then lastly, our boss when we get a job. And we're kind of told, you know, this is how you do life. You go to school, you get a degree, you get a job, you work five days a week, you have two days off, and you've made it, right? And you're just working to build someone else's dream. Unless you have your own traditional business, your brick and mortar business. But if you do, you know that starting one and maintaining one is no easy task, okay? It's expensive. It takes a lot of mistakes. You probably don't have mentorship and it takes years to get your investment back. And I know because prior to Monet, I was a business owner and I loved it, but clearly I'm here for a reason. So I'm here to tell you, if this is the first time you ever hear this, or remind you that there is another way, okay? And in my opinion, it's a better way. Not only but your opinion is your opinion, right? It's not facts. Facts and numbers show that it is not a better way. So I feel like I can confidently say your opinion is shit. It's wrong. It's just incorrect because facts show that what you're saying is not correct. It is not a better way. It is not a better opportunity. You have a better chance making an income, starting a new small business. I have this below too. You can go look at some of the uh, sources that I use. You could, you could make better income gambling in Vegas than being in a multi-level marketing trying to profit. Swear look below in, in my sources. And honestly, you could just see from their income disclosure statement. It's pretty straightforward. And also you can use Google too. I Google this stuff. I look through different things. You can do the same if you'd like to, but seriously, her opinion is, is wrong, which I feel like it's weird to say because it's like, it's my opinion. But also if facts show what you're saying is wrong, then it is what it is. Only a better way to make an income but a better way to make a difference, a better way to live out your purpose, and most importantly, a better way to impact others and become your best self. Okay, and I know this is sounding a little cliche. I wanna take like 30 seconds to give you a quick backstory on me because when I was introduced to Monet six years ago to this opportunity, I was a big fat no. I did not believe in the industry. I did not believe in the company. I just could not see myself doing something like this. And I was a huge hater, skeptic, you name it, right? But obviously I kept watching. I was intrigued. I was $70,000 in credit card debt. I gave in. And when I finally joined and my mentor and dear friend tells me, oh, so, you know, we're going to read books and we're going to do personal development. And I was like, whoa, 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 Liz, stop personal development, like I don't need that, okay? I was so close-minded and so ignorant that I thought personal development was for people that needed help, right? Like I was normal, I'm not reading a book, I'm not listening to a podcast. If I'm being very honest, I didn't even really know what a podcast was. Okay, personal development, in my opinion, very important. I think it's crucial in life in general. It looks different for everyone, 
But when it comes to multi-level marketing companies, their personal development is not healthy, in my opinion. And by that, I mean, simply they feed you things they want you to read and take in and believe to be true because a lot of it backs up with what the MLM top leaders are saying. Undue influence. I think through personal development that they do and mindset training and all of that, they are able to influence you without you realizing it. In a sense, it really is a, a brainwashing technique. It's a type of brainwashing. But when I use that word, people think like really intense religious cults and it's it's not all about that. It, it really is as simple as these people that you look up to that influence you telling you and feeding you these things that they tell you is important and crucial and going to help you and help you create this dream life that you want. When in reality, it's really just so that you'll believe what they're saying to your core. So that's how I started off this journey. And now, six years later, it's safe to say that I've discovered Monet is like a personal development course. All right, if my camera shifted, it's because I had to stop and order coffee. <laughs> so anyway, let's keep watching. With a compensation plan attached to it. They are literally paying us, literally paying us to become a better version of ourselves. And something that I've realized throughout my years here is that as a person and as a company, it's always easy to brag about wealth and material possessions, right? But that's not how true success is measured. True success is measured by the impact we make on others. And here at Monet, as a company, as a family, as an organization, we don't just, just focus on our personal gains and our personal wins. We invest, and when I say we, I mean our company, our you know corporate team, they invest so much in developing their leaders. And it shows in our numbers and it shows in our success. Does it show in your numbers? Because I don't know what numbers you're referring to, but from what I saw, there is no success. Maybe about 1% of the company is profiting. Maybe it might be worth it for about 1%. But that's not what y'all say. Y'all say this is an amazing opportunity for anyone and everyone who wants to join and try. And then when they aren't successful, you make it their fault instead of the fact that it is that way because of the business model. And that is why till this day, not even 10 years old, we have over 100 people that have made over $1 million. Guys, this does not just happen because you get lucky. To have a business and a community and a success this big, it's- Okay, I'm gonna pause it right there and we're gonna do some math. God, I do not enjoy doing math, but you know. So at one point, Monet had 300,000 people in their company. Um, and I'm just using that number because they said it before. 100 people who've made $1 million. I'm pretty sure that's how she put it. So 1% of 300,000 is 3,000. 1% of 300,000 is 3,000. 0.01% of 300,000 is 30. So they are between 1% and 0.01%. There are 100 millionaires in the company. It's a way bigger number of all the people that have been in money than 300,000. Probably, probably millions of people have been in money. Maybe not millions, but maybe. Maybe actually. I'm just using a number that they threw out. Okay. At one point, there was 300,000 people in money at one time, and there are 100 millionaires. That is less than 1% of the entire company. Oh, that is just not a flex. That is not a flex. And only 100 after what was it like eight or 10 years or something like 10 years? A decade almost? Decade, baby. I got it. 10 years. After 10 years, there's only 100 millionaires. Mm not a flex. It takes leadership. It takes duplication and it takes the right mindset. Okay. And a company, you can tell the difference when a company is investing back into the personal development of their field. And when they're investing back in other things that aren't going to make a difference. Okay. So wealth is fleeting, but leadership, empowerment, personal development, your mindset, that lasts a lifetime and that is what's going to create a sustainable business for you and it's not only going to help you in business it's going to help you in life and that is why Monet has been thriving for almost 10 years now and it is not thriving it's so funny that they keep pushing the idea that it's thriving it's not it's at the lowest it has ever been from what i remember from the video i did previously 
don't quote me don't i can't quote myself right now money is not even breaking even it's not profiting much if at all it went from an 800 million dollar company to a 300 million dollar company a year which is a fucking jump <laughs> For her to continue to act like it's thriving is just wrong. It's not. It plays into this deception that they do. Accounting. And the one thing that I've noticed throughout my six years being here, whether it's someone that started yesterday or someone that has been here for six years or someone that for whatever reason is no longer with us, every single person says, thanks, Mane. Thank you to Mane, I'm a better person. Thank you to Mane, I'm a better leader. Mane was my school. Mane taught me everything I know. Mane gave me the confidence to do X, Y, and Z. I have secondhand embarrassment for her. Oh, Joe, that was so ridiculous of you to say. Ooh, you did a you did a no no. How many of you were in Mane and want to thank Mane? I'd love to see your thank you below. Let you know what? Actually, I think you should. If you've been in Mane before and you want to write a little thank you to Mane for whatever, you should write it below. I'll make sure to pin one of my favorites, okay? Mane made me pull, put myself out there. Made me a better mother, wife, sister, you name it. Every single person that comes through our doors says the same thing. And not everyone that says it has made millions of dollars, okay? I have hundreds and thousands of people, women on my team that do this very part-time that, you know, are just starting off, that do this for the community. And when they say, you know, what has Mane given you? They say, my mindset, my personal development, my self-belief, my self-worth, my self-confidence. Ulcers in my belly, <laughs> migraines, high anxiety, a lower amount in my bank account. I could go, I'll, uh, some people have even lost their fucking hair. <laughs> Listen, you can try, Joe. But I got you, babe. I'm right back here. I'll get right back at you. And that, to me, guys, is huge bragging rights as a company and as a team. Because it's not just one person winning and one person saying that. It's like, if anyone ever speaks about Monet, that is the one thing, the one thing they say. It is where I learned everything I know. And it's the one thing that made me a better person. So something for you to keep in mind as a person, as a company, if you are, you know, either applying for a job or hopefully joining the network marketing space, if a, a boss, a company, if someone has so much money, what are they investing in it, investing it in? What's, what, nothing is better than investing it back into developing your people. Okay. And for someone who is super skeptical, skeptical, sorry, starting off, Mane has given me the opportunity to not only work and meet and learn from some of the best personal development mindset and business speakers in the industry. People that maybe if you're not in the network marketing space yet, you're not going to recognize. I know six years ago, I definitely did not recognize, but I invite you to write down the names and Google them. And these are people that I probably would have never come in contact with. Okay, maybe now that I've been able to make over $6 million in commissions, but no, these are people that charge five and six figures just to speak to them. And when I say money has paired us up with them, it's not that they say, oh, here, it's a 30 minute call from this person. We're talking about extensive classes. We're talking about certifications. We're talking about months and months of boot camps of people that are literally training us, building us up, having one-on-one -on -one calls and- Y'all know Monet has like a quote unquote doctorate program. Many of us in the anti-MLM genre have gone over it extensively. I'm not going into that, but she's talking about that and it's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, having one-on-one -on -one calls, answering our questions. And some of these people, which I have certifications with, John Maxwell, Todd Duncan, Eric Worre, all of this cost money. And who's paying for this? Money. Okay, now people that we've been able to learn from that they brought to speak for us, Tony Robbins, Tim Tebow, Mel, uh, Mel Robbins, Les Brown, Ed Milet, just to name a few. Okay, so I know you guys may be considering this industry, this company for various reasons. Personally, myself, I was, I'm going to be very honest, I was very heavy on I need money. 
I was $70,000 in credit card debt. The money I was making was not enough and I did not want to continue leaving my kid behind, trading my time for money and my money not being enough. But maybe you're interested because you want a better community or a better network or you want more trips or you want better hair or you want better skin, beautiful makeup, you name it. But I want to remind you that if you're considering this industry to follow your gut and to follow your heart and to never take advice from someone who is not where you want to be. Okay, something I've learned. Joe, 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 pause. I personally think that that's a bullshit lie. I personally think that that thought process of never take advice from someone who is not where you want to be is ridiculous. Imagine people who are who are houseless and have experienced some really horrible things in life and they give you advice on how not to fucking experience that. Why would I only take advice from people who have done well in life? Why wouldn't I take advice from people who have experienced a lot of hardship? Those people I probably can get the best advice from. That's a wild thought process to live. In not just my life, but these six years of building a business of trials and error, is that insecurities are very, very loud, okay? And I know that because when I was rejecting money six years ago, I would go to my poor upline and friend, the one that was offering me the business, and I was so mean to her. I was like, this is a scam, you look ridiculous, I can't believe you're doing this, again, because insecurities are loud. Or you're just like, mean, I don't know. There's no reason to be mean. You could say that stuff without being mean. Okay, and remember there are always three sides to every story and then there's the truth. And the only way for you to find the truth and find your success story in whatever it is that you want to do is by you trying it yourself. I want to- So you're saying that the only way for me to really know how cocaine affects me is to try cocaine. It's not about the science or the facts or the numbers about it. It's, it's I need to try it to really know. Okay. Empower you. I want to encourage you to do it, to do it scared. You do not have to know it all. We teach you everything here. The resources, the trainings, the duplication, the support, clearly the personal development, the company backs us up, but you need to be willing to take that first step and to do it scared because you're never going to feel completely ready. I know I wasn't. I was one foot in and one foot out. And you know what? In six years, money has changed my life in ways that I could have never imagined. And the, the base, you know, the, the most common ones that people think about, oh, the money. Yes, I got out of debt. I made a lot of money, the cars, the trips, everything that you're going to continue to learn about. But there's two things that money has given me that I'm like, these are my biggest flex and two things that I take to heart. Okay, I'm going to name a few. Uh, community, time freedom for her kid or something like that. Um, let's do personal development or like mindset. We'll go with those and I feel like I know one of them is going to be in there. Okay, and number one is my time. My Ayo! Anne gave me back my time. My time to be a mom, my time to be a wife, my time to put my family first, all while not having to stress income. Because when I was a little girl, I did not say, I'm going to grow up and sell shampoo. But I said, I wanna grow up and be a present mom and I want to grow up and I never want to stress money. So number one, money gave me time. But number two, money gave me myself. Money gave me personal development. Oh, two for two, bitches. Money gave me like the, the way I view life now, the way I handle things that happen to me, the way I react to things that happen to me, the way I lead my team, the way I, I used to be the person that would not talk to anyone shy, insecure, you name it, anti-social. And because of the coaching, the leadership and the personal development I have gained through this company, I am the woman I am today and I continue to be a work in progress. Okay, so it may change your life like it has done for me and it's been crazy. Or at the very least, it may make you a better person and a better business owner. Okay, and I'll leave you with this because I'm over my time. Um, here at Monet, it's not just about the better hair and the better skin and the better products or the better paycheck. It's about the better you. And that's something that you will not find in a lot of other places. In a traditional job, I'm sorry and I hate to say it, you clock in, you clock out, they tell you what you want, what they need you to do. 
They're not investing in how you're feeling up here. Joe, what the? Okay, you know, I've been going through a divorce and let me tell you, it's been all right. There've been hard times. One night, really hard for me. Very hard. Um, I asked my, my boss, hey, when you get here, can I leave? Like blah, blah, blah. And she was like, you know what? Why don't you take the next night off? The, the place I work at has like really good benefits for, uh, or, or connections when it comes to, like therapy and mental health. And she sent me some information on it. It was so awesome. I'm like, Joe, first off, how would you know? <laughs> You haven't been working anything but shampoo for six years. And second, you're just wrong. You're just, you're just wrong. Plain and simple. And unfortunately, your bank account is only going to grow as much as your mind grows. And tomorrow, someone can take away all of the materialistic things from you. But I say, if tomorrow, for whatever reason, I have to stop. I'm going to stop her again really quickly because she said that your bank, your bank account's going to grow just as much as your mind grows. But there's a lot of ridiculously ignorant people with a lot of money there are a lot of people who have two brain cells that rub really hard together to work with a lot of money i mean i have three brain cells so at least i have more than them but you know what i'm saying are over and sell water on the street i will be the most successful water seller because of my mindset and that is something that i've gotten thanks to all the investments this company has done on their field okay so our personal development here, our leadership, our duplication is something you cannot compete with. We have the results to prove it. We have the millionaires to prove it. We have the leadership to prove it. And we're just waiting for you. We are just waiting for you. If nothing, if nothing else catches your attention, at least say, I want to be a better person. I want to have that self-belief. I want to have that self-love. And come join Monet and you're going to see that you're going to get that. Because it's not just me. It's hundreds and thousands of people that say the same thing. So personal development was my bragging topic because it's one of our stronger pillars here at Monet. And I am excited for you guys to tune back in tomorrow to part four, right? Yeah, part four. I'm going to go ahead and leave her Instagram below. It's Liz Lugo official. Okay, we're done with that. <laughs> Oh, that was actually a lot more fun than I anticipated. What'd y'all think? Don't forget to please post what Monet has done for you and how it has helped you. Okay, I would love to see that. My dogs are really excited. I've got to get ready for work, so I've got to go. I, it is past time, so I appreciate you watching this. Don't forget to like it if you enjoyed it, and you can subscribe if you want to support the channel, and leave a comment below on your thoughts. Thanks for being here. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye. I don't care about what has been I only care about yours